hit you yeah, on, we're live. Yeah. <laughs> I hit record. <laughs> I hit record. <laughs> Zach Coffee just asked, where is teacher? Because yeah, like what's it? going on? Teacher is not here. But yeah, teacher is he was traveling. Uh yeah. so I I managed to get to see him uh a few days ago here in London. Oh that's I've not nice. seen okay. him in person mm. in five years. Yeah. Five years. So we, ma- we managed to see long each other. Long time, man. Yeah, long time. Just a quick <laughs> visit. But now he's back in Australia. I think he's landing today. Oh, so, is it? yeah, we'll see him again soon. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, good to have you, Zachwoff, again. And yes, Emmanuel, thank good you. to have you both. <laughs> yes, it's always <laughs> a pleasure. You got your special clothes on for us today, Zachwoff, yes. yeah? Today I'm Alaji. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna bring back Chucky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Be careful what's behind me. You know them ones. It's, yeah. not, uh, it's not uh what's his name? <laughs> it's not his son. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remember last time? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, last time. <laughs> Teacher's son was in the background. Son was oh, is it? He was star because he just had his like <laughs> underwear on. He was going to bed. I think he came out of bed, and yeah. honestly, it did look scary because it was dark. <laughs> you just saw like some something in the back. <laughs> oh my god! It literally was like the kid from The Grudge. Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. Anything yeah. that was that we didn't record it. It's, oh, it's true. You know, it will be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, great, great to have you both on the show. Uh, today's going to be a great show. I've got, I've got a good feeling about today's show. We've got some good oh, films, oh, 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 oh. good, mo- good uh, movie news. We've got some hidden mm. gems on there, uh, trailers. So we've got a really jam-packed show. We're going to try and get it, get through it in about 50 minutes or so. Make sure you've got enough to listen to it while you're cooking, while you're traveling to work, or whatever you're doing. Yeah. So if this is your mm. first time, go find us on Instagram, X, YouTube. What else is there? Facebook. Uh, and yeah, that's it. And find uh, Zachrov. Find him on Instagram as well. Great page. Go check him out. And go check out Emmanuel's Instagram as well, which he'll, he'll shout about later as well. So, <laughs> yeah. Will I? <laughs> Maybe you won't, that's, why, that's why I said, you know what? I remember now, Emmanuel, he's one of those guys that just like to just sneak through. You know? <laughs> you don't want anyone to... <laughs> that's enough talking. Anyway. That's enough talking. We'll do a quick shout out. First shout out goes to Marcy. Uh, I think Marcy was on YouTube. So we do get people on YouTube. Yes, okay. we do. Uh, he watches the show because we put our show on YouTube every Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m. UK time. I'm not sure what time that is where you are, but 8 p.m. UK time. It premieres on YouTube and then it stays on there you know, all the time. So, yeah, he gave us a shout out. He said he doesn't like the idea of Aaron Taylor Johnson being James Bond. Oh, wow. Did he give mm. reasons? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure why. Okay. I don't know if, uh, if, 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 I don't know if I've spoken to Zakharov since that news came out, but what do you think? I mean, it's a, it's a rumor. It's not confirmed. But... Yeah, it's not confirmed. But I'm, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I don't hate the guy. Mm-hmm. He's an okay actor. Yeah. Mm. He has some gossip with... Yeah his yeah. partner and stuff like that but i don't yeah. know i think they're trying to take a new approach you know a younger actor mm. to make more films True. i mean he's fit yeah so yeah i guess he's a very fit man yeah i've seen yeah, him yeah. he's gonna be in uh craven the hunter he's yeah a exactly. fit guy he's been obviously we saw him in uh kick ass when he was younger he's, yeah. you know, he, he's got the look to be really aggressive but also can be a bit smooth as well so yeah. You know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, that's that. That's the little, little shout out for Marcy. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. So, okay, so we're going to go into the movie news. Uh, we've got the first bit of movie news. So, I'm going to ask you guys: Do you remember Heroes? Of course. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yatta! <laughs> <laughs> ah, here you go. First bit of Japanese for manual. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hiro Nakamura, isn't it? That's yeah, thing, isn't it? <laughs> Save yeah. the chi leader. Save the, Save the world. world. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. So people are listening and thinking, what are these guys talking about? <laughs> Heroes was a really good TV show. It came on, I think, from 2008 or 2007, I think. Yeah. Quite a long time mm. ago about these people that had all these sort of superhero powers, a bit like, you know, the Marvel kind of DC yeah. kind of world. It kind of reminded me a little bit of how we've got the boys now, but mm. it wasn't as 
hardcore. No. But uh, do you think do you guys do you guys have good memories of it? Do you, do you, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I love the first season. I love it oh. uh, when the when the when the intro comes and the title mm. card. It always gives me goosebumps. Oh my yeah. gosh! And Who's your favorite I, character? Who's your favorite character? Oh, in Heroes. It's a long. If I you remember. To... No, I don't remember. Yeah. No. I liked um, uh, I liked uh, Silo. Oh. Silo. He was he the was the villain, good. right? Yeah, the villain. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was, was, he was, he was good. good. Spock in the new the new yeah. Star Trek as well. Yeah, yeah. Quinto. That's the guy. Yes, That's the guy. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, good, good villain. Good villain. Good villain for sure. Yeah, and I also one liked one? Matt Parker, who was the cop. Who oh, the cop? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's one that could like read minds, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's, a, that's the only special effects you need for him, isn't it? Just close up, <laughs> make it blurry, and he's yeah. in your mind. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so hit, yeah, we're, we're yeah. talking, I don't know what we're, what we're doing, but basically <laughs> the news is the news. <laughs> there's a reboot that is being planned by the actual creator, Tim Kring. So, is this going to be like the second reboot? Because wasn't yeah. it after the, after the first one, it was like Heroes yeah, Reborn? Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I think a lot of people maybe forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, because that wasn't the best. So I think this may be another attempt at really bringing it back because they've seen that, you know, Marvel's let the ball slip. They've seen mm. people want stuff like the boys and stuff like that. So maybe they think if they bring it back and bring it hard, you know. It did have a different feel as well. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully they'll bring some freshness to it. Uh, and maybe some older characters as well. Remember the Haitian? That yeah, the Haitian. Nice. He was good. <laughs> Wicked, character. Wicked character. The Haitian. No name, you know, just the Haitian. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully, I think this one's going to hopefully come out in the next couple of years. So they just started to really, you know, talk about it. So we'll see what mm. happens. Uh, next bit of news, Blumhouse. Okay, when I say to you Blumhouse, uh, what comes to mind? Horror. Yeah. Oh. Horror, remakes, reboots, whatever. Okay. Anything they can find. <laughs> Especially okay. with this one. I'm actually annoyed with this one. Yeah? Yeah, because you, you share it. Okay, so the yeah. news is that Blumhouse <laughs> are set to make another Blair Witch movie. So what, so, well, this would be like the third one? I, yeah, I think this would be the third. The first one, 1999. <laughs> You know, that for some Time people, ago. they weren't even born. Yeah. Some of our listeners weren't born then. 1999, that's the first Blair Witch. And I must say, I must just say it, the Blair Witch Project, the first one that came out was made for silly money. It's like the money yeah. that you wouldn't even spend on these days or spend it on on catering. Not even that. <laughs> Wasn't you it know? the reason why it blew up was because how they filmed it was yeah. uh, Found footage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Found footage. I think at the time it cost... Sixty thousand dollars to make, and I think afterwards for marketing it cost up to about a hundred and fifty or two hundred thousand mm. dollars total, and it <laughs> brought in a hundred and I think a hundred and eighty million dollars. Look at that! So that's crazy. I think it's Guinness Book of Records for one of the smallest budgets to what it brought in. But mm. Zakov, tell us why you're not happy, man. Why are you not happy? <laughs> We're going back again, another one. I mean, like the first one was good, perfect yeah. film, you know. Yeah. Then they made a sequel, and a third one, and now they're gonna reboot the whole thing. Oh yeah, the third again. one. Yeah. There was a third one, which called Blair Witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which was weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, I, leave it Leave it alone. I think I think it's just for a new generation, isn't it? Yeah. Really? Like, that's... but if this the thing they're gonna keep doing it, like I'm like, no. My man scratching his head. <laughs> but I must say, I mean, I get where you're coming <laughs> from, but we're gonna yeah. talk about a film later, which is another kind of retelling of an old school classic. And maybe the, may, I think, I've, I've not spoken to any of you about that <laughs> film. I don't know how you feel about it, but maybe there is space for it. Maybe there's not. Only time mm. will tell. <laughs> Blair Witch <laughs> One was so special. I mean, yeah, I remember watching that when I was at uni, and people were talking about it. People didn't even need to. 
I don't think I saw an advert, a trailer. No, it's what people were it was saying word of about. mouth. Exactly. Yeah. There was no social media and then. People were making these sticks and put them yeah. everywhere and <laughs> over yeah. here. Is they it? did okay. that. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. <laughs> market the people will market it. Yeah. yeah. It's a good film. So let's see what happens with that anyway. Uh, next bit of news, I'll just talk about this one really quickly. So this one here, so Game of Thrones, Jon Snow. Uh, this one. The Jon Snow project. So there was meant to be a Jon Snow spin-off. Yeah. Uh, which, <laughs> what was it going to be called? Which, you know which... nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah. no, nobody, called... nobody asked for that. So. You know, <laughs> be called Jon Snow, the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this one here, Jon Snow was meant to have a spin-off about looking at his journey after the events of Game of Thrones, and uh, for some reason, this spin-off has now been put on the shelf mm, it's not right. being made at the moment so we've got uh house of the dragon season two coming out in june mm. john snow himself in an interview said that the reason why it's not happening is because they can't get it right you know and if they can't get it right they're not going to put something out and make it shit basically they want to do yeah. it properly or not do it at all i don't know how do you feel do you think that's the right decision do you think they should i mean just... yeah for sure yeah. I mean I'm not I'm not waiting for this, so I don't care about Jon Snow. He was one of the most boring characters <laughs> in the whole thing. Who was one of your favorite and, I don't think I've asked you before. Who was one of your one of your favorites in Game Of course of I am the Khaleesi. Oh. I'm their side. Khaleesi. <laughs> of course. Yeah. House it's a, it's an ongoing debate. Okay. The ending everything. People okay, okay, people okay. compare us with Hitler. Oh my, gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because we choose their her side, you know? Yeah, 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 it was yeah. so yeah, no, it's it's an ongoing debate. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you feel about how do you feel about Emmanuel? Who's who's your favorite in Game of Thrones? Or, have you seen uh, Game of Thrones? You say you have seen it. I've seen you? Game of Thrones, yeah, but it's just it's it's old now in my memory. Yeah, so, really? Okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I know the I know like the characters that I liked, but it was more like I liked them in what in one season and then changed and didn't really like them so much in okay. another season. So, yeah. Yeah. but I think the what is it? The consistent one was um, oh, what's the the dwarf guy? The oh, Tyrion, Tyrion, Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, gangster, was, yeah. gangster character. <laughs> I, I love him. I, I'll be honest, but my favorite character, Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> it used to be Khaleesi mm. up until a certain point. Um, I still liked her, but not as much as I used to. But I, I like Tyrion Lannister, Bronn, who was like, like a a cell sword, isn't it? Bronn. He's just, he's just, he's just a mad character. I love him so much. And then I liked uh, uh, Lyanna Mormont. You know the the young girl mm. who she's now in a uh, what's that show with Oberyn Martell? Yes, the last yes, yes, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So her, I th- she was in it for a short time, but yeah. I just thought yeah. she was. So, such a powerful character. She was like 12 years old. That was her first role in mm-hmm. anything. And That's she a just, big role. She just stood up and she yeah. was the leader amongst among all these men. And I was like, she's not messing around. I just love that character. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not too fussed. Game of Thrones isn't happening. Yeah, uh, I think that was my, I'm thinking that might be the reason, real reason why they've they've shelved it really. Yeah. I, don't I know. also I'm... read there there are more plans, you know, for more spin-offs. There's another one coming, Egg Egg and Dunk or something yes. like that. Yes. I, I don't I haven't read the book, so I don't yeah. know the details, but I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe they want to push that one. Yeah. You know? I think I think you're right, Zach. I think they should push that one because that's a, a new character, a new yeah, story. Exactly. But a very, very powerful story in the whole Game of Thrones, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. law. Yeah. So that one there, I think, would be good. Yeah, wicked. I can't wait for that one, actually. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, last bit of news. Monopoly. What's going on with this? Uh, uh, yeah, this I came across. Monopoly, the game. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, so there's, uh, well, Monopoly movie. Margot Robbie's uh, company, Lucky Chap, uh, is basically set to produce this. Mm. Um, and at the moment, not a lot of has been mentioned other than Margot Robbie's film production company. Who's also famous for like films like uh, I Tonya, um, Promising Young Woman, which we reviewed um, previously, Saltburn, which is <laughs> sadistic, man. It's just like 
<laughs> company done all those. I didn't realize. Yeah, and and oh, she did birds of birds of prey as well. She's gangster. Yeah, yeah and the, so they're yeah, mm-hmm. so they're due to produce this film. But sources also say that apparently this film um, has been in development for like more than a decade, which yeah. to me it just goes to show that <laughs> how challenging filmmaking, you know, often is, yeah. and um, the fact that, but you know what, Margot Robbie, she's not alone in the creativity of this taking on this monopoly the movie mm. because we all know about hasbro or mm. have heard of hasbro in one form or another like they've made uh made famous toy lines like transformers star wars marvel power rangers um mm. and those <laughs> annoying little like furbies that, <laughs> that that when it came out it was like they're spying on us that was like <laughs> And um, yeah, and they're basically they're going to be the producers on the on making of the Monopoly. But personally, I'm surprised that Hasbro and Margot uh, Robbie haven't thought to produce their own version of like murder mystery franchise, mm. like mm. Knives Out or mm. Death Death on the Nile, because one of the no- other products that Hasbro has is um, on their portfolio is uh, Cluedo, which oh, is okay. like a if if any of you have played it, it's basically like a murder mystery guess who who yeah. you know did the murder. But I feel like that would have been a a good one to if knives came out knives 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 out came out mm. and then it had that Hasbro, it would have been mm. it would have been like a good movie, but without everyone knowing having to know that it was Hasbro, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. yeah. But I think you never know. There's still time. Maybe something like that could still come out. I didn't yeah. realise that her company made so many good films, so I reckon they could do anything, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Monopoly? Yeah. Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Monopoly. <laughs> yeah. But but I think the chances of uh, I think the chances of that Monopoly coming out is is you know it it's a bit too far ahead. Mm. I feel like the classic cult um the cult classic Tank Girl, mm. um that was that's an old movie. That one would probably come out sooner. And she's also working on um, her company's also working on this comic book adaptation called uh, Evangelina, okay. um, and I think that one will, will come out a lot sooner as well than the Monopoly mm-hmm. movie because I can't really imagine like a, a storyline unless it's going to be like Suits or some sort of very corporate kind of feel mm-hmm. to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Okay. You need to create oh, nice a whole one. like a screenplay Monopoly. How do you do that? Yeah. That's a challenge, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe they need to play Monopoly and write that experience into a movie. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like one night. <laughs> what? Turn it into a Jumanji? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, that's cool. So that's the movie news all wrapped up all nicely. Uh, next on, we've got new ones streaming. So X-Men, X-Men 97 on Disney+. Plus. Uh, mm. Have you guys caught up to that one? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm up to date on the, on the yeah. X-Men. I think the latest episode that came out is probably the best one, I feel. Oh, man. Have you, have you seen it yet, Zakharov? Mm. No? Oh. I'm actually re-watching the old one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to start fresh and then okay. follow, yeah, yeah, you yeah know what? because Do it's it. been too Do long it. ago. Do it, because it, it, what you're doing is probably, if you haven't the seen right it before, way. Yeah, yeah, start with the old yeah. ones and then catch up. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't want to spoil anything, then the fact that you haven't seen the new ones, all I'm going to say is, it's the fourth episode, was it, Emmanuel? Yeah, fourth. Yeah, the it's, fourth one. it's really because at first I was a bit like, mm, mm, but it's mm. it was a serious episode, man. <laughs> mm, serious, and I was like, okay, this is what I'm here for. It's, uh, it's good. Are they still like twenty minutes? Episode uh, twenty five. They're short. Yeah, they're short. Right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. yeah, still the same okay. kind of format, but yeah, it's good. Uh, Mon ami. Yeah, I will, I will for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You'll probably be the best person to ask about the feel of it because we was mm. talking previously about the nostalgia factor, and it was like to to me, it felt like a nostalgia bait. And uh, okay. with you actually watching it from the beginning, you could you can probably be the best person to see how whether it still 
flows the same way. Yeah, exactly. From like, yeah. Yeah, because it's actually a, just a new season, right? Mm. It starts where the old one ends. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 97. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. It had five seasons, I think. Yeah, I think the original, original was 92 to 96 or something Six, like that. Yeah. And this is 97, so. No, I'm very curious how it yeah. goes on. Like, yeah. Wolverine, man, he's still my favorite. When I, was younger, <laughs> I used to get sellotape. Around my hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> sellotape <laughs> chopsticks <laughs> to you? <laughs> no, like pencils or. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I have to walk around the house going. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> And I wasn't even that young, you know. I'm not going to say how old I was because I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I was, it was only last week. I was yeah. 26. <laughs> 26. <laughs> Honestly, uh, Wolverine, Cable, Bishop. I love Apocalypse. Mr. Sinister. Love yeah. that guy. Mm. Wicked villains, man. Wicked. All the bad ones. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah let us know when you, when you catch up, uh, Zachroff, and we'll, we'll, we'll revisit it. Yeah, I'm it still again. in season one, though. Okay. <laughs> It's a good season. No, I, I usually season. I usually watch episodes before sleep. Okay, that's you know, a good season. Season one, season yeah. two as well. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll say no more. I'll say no more. <laughs> All right, next one we got on the new one streaming Fallout. Mm. Fallout. So this is the uh, series game adaptation, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So this is basically on a video game, uh, and it's about a dystopian world where. Man, with, with, with what's going on in the world right now, mm-hmm. like, <laughs> when you think of Fallout, obviously Fallout is really exaggerated and stuff, but yeah. it's just, it just makes you think about what is what could happen in the world. Obviously, we're going to talk about Civil War as well. Shit, there's a lot of madness right now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> in the world and in, in movies. And it's kind of strange that all these movies are yeah. getting released at yeah. this time. It's crazy. End of the world stuff. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's like they're preparing us. You know? Netflix, what are you doing? <laughs> Do you know something oh. we don't know? <laughs> crazy but no. I, I saw an episode of fallout yesterday mm. uh it's 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 funny because it seems like a bit of comedy it seems a bit light mm. and all of, all of a sudden somebody will get their head chopped off <laughs> and yeah. blood just goes a bit, yeah. like the, a bit like the boys it's a bit it's crazy that's mm. all i'm yeah. gonna say but it does seem like an interesting show yeah. i like it as well so far i'm on episode four and oh, i wow, really okay. enjoy oh, it yeah, good, yeah, yeah. good good you're, you're, you're i love the like ahead. the the first seven minutes of the first episode yeah. were like right <laughs> you ever love... play the game no I the no game. i never heard anything never. about the game oh, okay oh no see my brother my brother's the gamer so he was uh he was just like no it looks like they went in and oh, did it okay. real good like oh, yeah real good so okay did, that's yeah. good okay. yeah 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 that's good but yeah it's another good. win for amazon yeah exactly <laughs> that seems like an interesting show <laughs> i'm probably gonna watch some more today after we record so yes mm. by next week i think oh. i would have watched quite a lot so uh, it's just yeah. eight episodes come on just eight okay, one yeah, day I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try i'll try eight hours your love <laughs> done <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool so that's what's new on streaming go check that out the first one expense on disney plus and then we had fallout on amazon uh next we've got some new trailers so a couple of new trailers uh first one is maxine Woo-hoo. what's this one about maxine so have you seen uh the end of a trilogy <laughs> <laughs> I, right I think, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it is. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sense, yeah. Have, you, have you seen uh, X? Have you seen Pearl? Uh, have you seen those two films, Emmanuel? No, no, no. Okay. I've, I've heard you speaking about Pearl. Pearl's a crazy film, and uh, Mia Goff, gangster. Mm. She, mm. she, I don't know, I don't know what goes on in her head. I don't know how she, like, to play, even, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I don't want to spoil Pearl, but. One of the most interesting ends to a film, not even the not even the end of the film, but just the credits. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> have, you seen, "Have you seen Pearl? You seen Pearl, Zachroff? Yeah, I did. You no, know the credits, the part where she's just, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> this girl what, is five, six up. hours. Yeah, yeah. No, not hours, minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, she, yeah. 
I've never seen anything like it. And that that alone just tells me this girl, she's just on the next level, man. Just I don't think you want to know what's going on in her mind. She yeah, was no, probably, it will probably scare you, and then trust <laughs> she'll me. Have to be sexual. No, when 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 some actors are too convincing, it mm. seems like they enjoy it too much. Mm. <laughs> it's like there's a line. I mean, yeah, kudos, you're yeah, a good actor, yeah, but at yeah. the same time, I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this film is directed by Ty West, written by Ty West. Ty West loves those kind of sort of horror kind of, you know, crazy films. He directed the first two, uh, Pearl and X. Uh, and this is a, the, the sort of next in the trilogy. This one, uh, Mia Goff, we've got Elizabeth Debicki, we've got Michelle Monaghan, if that's if I'm correct, pronouncing her, her name mm. right. We've got Giancarlo Esposito. I just freeing himself. Yes. We've got a good cast list here, man. I see some really good actors here that are just going to do a great. I think Kevin Bacon's in it as well. <laughs> I think. So, uh, yeah, this looks like a crazy film. I'm not going to spoil it too much. Go watch the trailer. I mean, yeah, that's all I can say, man. This is going to, this coming out, when's it coming out? This is coming out in, I want to say June. Uh, am I saying June? Uh, let me just say June. Oh, no, August. Sorry. <laughs> August. <laughs> Uh, and this is A24, so say no okay. more. You know what that means. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> A24. Exactly, A24. I think Kevin Bacon just likes them kind of thriller horror, horror movies, right? Or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A bit of bacon, you know? Sizzle, <laughs> sizzle things up. You I bet I mean? he... No, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Six, this is where we go there we live there <laughs> no i want to say i probably he just gets kills off right away uh, like, maybe, maybe. you know it seems maybe. like it's something he would like to do yeah like a little cameo right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see i'm looking forward to that one in august anyway that should be good so check, check out the trailer if you haven't seen it so far definitely a film worth seeing definitely all right, cool. So the next one on the list, Speak No Evil. Speak No Evil. So I know that's sometimes why Emmanuel's quiet. You know, sometimes <laughs> you hang out with, with Emmanuel, yeah? Sometimes he's just there chilling. He won't say anything for five, six, seven minutes. Wow. And it's because he doesn't want to speak any evil. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. No, have you seen this trailer? Have you seen this trailer yet? Anyone? I haven't seen the trailer, no. Yeah. No. no, I haven't yeah. seen the trailer, uh, but Ooh. I do know that it's a remake yes. from a Dutch film. Mm -hmm. And uh, that brings me back to Bloomhouse, another remake. Like the original one is uh, from 2022. And now we're getting an American version in 24. And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's just two years later. Yeah, just Before the 22 later. one, the 2013 one, was was that the same? same? No, that's just another movie with the same title. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. With that guy from, uh, I think he was a wrestler or something. Kane. Oh, yes. Uh, no, I, <laughs> yes. I, think that, yes. No, I think that one was See No Evil. Yeah, I've seen that film. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I oh think this gosh. is a crazy film. <laughs> yeah. But I, th I think Teacher actually reviewed the Dutch film. Okay. He, he saw it and reviewed it a while ago, and he said it was very, very good. He it was, it, it was, it was. Yeah. If so you I'm find sure. a way to watch it with subtitles, go watch yeah. that one instead, instead of the American one. Watch that one mm. first Yeah. before I... Go to in this one here. Does don't get me wrong. It does look interesting. Okay. James McAvoy, I think he plays a better villain than a goodie. <laughs> For sure, he is in in uh, Split. Yeah, Split. Yeah. He was wicked in mm -hmm. Split in <laughs> M Night Shyamalan. And yeah. in this film, it looks like he's got a similar like Split personality. Like he seems like he's good, but then yeah. he he seems evil as well. So this okay. one basically is on. It's about I think two families that are going, they've gone on holiday or something like that. And they, I think they're sharing a villa or, or something like that. You know, they're sharing some time on holiday and they get friendly and stuff like that. And I think from something happens while they're spending their time and shit goes 
you know, <laughs> shit just Goes turns down. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know fully what's going to happen, but I know something crazy is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, the original That's... is crazy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. So I think that James, he plays the, the Dutch version mm. or the English version of the Dutch couple, I think. Okay. Right? okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this looks interesting. I want to see it. So this, this is out. So speak no evil. This is out in September, so we've got a little while. Wow. So we've got plenty of time to find the original. Yeah. Why is it a common? Why is it a common thread that a, a cabin or somewhere in the wilderness <laughs> is never going to end up good? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's the thing. I think there is some. There is a beauty to it. I get it. Yeah. But when you watch so, so many of these horror films, I now will find it difficult to do. That. <laughs> I find it difficult. I will, but I but they lie. they are staying in a cabin in the trailer. I think so. Yeah, it looks like oh, a, okay, okay. a cabin type situation. So okay, so they changed. Remote. They kind of changed the narrative then um, from the original. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's interesting. I'll still watch it, but I, I, I want to watch the Dutch version first. So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. All right, cool. So that's that one. So that's speak no evil. Uh, so next year, so we got what have we got next? We got our ooh anniversary corner. Ooh, this one goes back to two thousand and nine. Uh, this is the road. Uh, has anyone seen this one? The road, two thousand and nine. I can't remember. <laughs> ooh, it's a long road. Wait, there a horror movie? It's, it sounds one, like some sort of hitchhiker. Road? It's it's a it's a basically the reason I put it on here is because it's like a dystopian end of the world type situation uh the world has gone to shit basically uh, <laughs> <this> <laughs> <one>. <laughs> tumbleweeds <laughs> road si route 66 or something yeah. like that <laughs> <laughs> this one it looks like the same sort of world in you know where uh, the book of eli yeah, yeah. Washington. love that one it yeah. looks like a similar kind of environment uh, i can't even remember what happened to, to the world it's a dangerous post-apocalyptic world uh, an ailing father, I think he's got some sort of sickness, defends his son as they slowly travel towards the sea. Because I think the sea, the seaside is where maybe there's some sort of safety. Haven, so they've, got, yeah. they've got to go across the city, go across the country. I think it's America. Mm. And across along the way, because the world is just basically it's lawless. Mm -hmm. People, it's like, you know, the, you know, like uh, The Walking Dead, all kinds of crazy people doing stuff. They'll kill you just for your food. Just for your shoes, you know. And this, I, I remember watching this film in 2009. It's got Vigo Mortensen. Uh, so we've got you know Aragon from Lord of the Rings, Charlie mm. Theron, and we've got Cody Smith McPhee, who played uh, who's that blue guy that keeps disappearing in X Men? Uh, not Daredevil. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. That's the one. Uh, Nightcrawler. So he played Nightcrawler in the you know the the, the recent X Men films. Uh, so yeah, Vigo Mortensen in this film is really good, and this film is really powerful. There's some really gruesome scenes in it. It's it kind of reminded me a little bit of Civil War. That's why I put it on there. Oh, okay. It's like uh, the world is just a different place, and there's no rules. And it's <laughs> some of the scenes in this film, honestly, it was crazy. It's worth a watch. 2009. It's 15 years old now, and you know, the way the world is going now, I really hope this is this film isn't a reflection of things to come. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> Zach was laughing, yeah? <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> this is not real. It's, it's, it's an, an, an apocalypse episode, isn't it? Yeah, like a it dystopian is. episode. Yeah, okay. yeah, it is. See what it you is. did there. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's mad. What's going on? What's going on? But if it is going to be the end of the world, at least you're going to get to hear us and see us. <laughs> the world crumbles, you know, and that will make it a little bit better for you. <laughs> well, yeah. well, they might just get jarred when they're trying to find the signal for help. And yes, then they're hearing exactly. our voice. And, hearing, <laughs> and they think, oh my God, finally someone. But no, it's a recording oh, from you know, yeah, yeah, 2000 yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah that's the world uh, the, the world. world go please catch that that's a really really good film uh, watch list yeah directed by a person called john hillcoat 
And he also directed Lawless uh, with, uh, what's his name, Bane, uh, Thomas Hardy, mm. and Johnny Depp. Uh, so yeah, interesting, interesting film there. So yeah, and I'll leave a Black there. Mirror episode, I see. Oh, I'm actually Black... watching. That's why. <laughs> oh, Black Mirror and Triple Nine. What was Triple Nine again? I remember that one. Triple, that's also like a bit of the end of the world, isn't it? Was that was that a French film? Was that was that, was that the one? Oh, Never no, seen I, Triple I'm Nine. Getting mixed up. No, I think film. that was a heist movie or something. Yeah, yeah. With a lot of actors. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay cool all right then cool so, yeah, that's the anniversary corner 2009 go check that one out and now that brings us nicely to our first movie of the week so we, we talked about dystopian worlds and things going crazy and the world going upside down and what's going on in, in the news and stuff like that yeah if i give a spoiler alert <laughs> <laughs> It's very timely that we're going to be talking about a film called Civil War. And we don't mean Captain America Civil War. <laughs> we mean just Civil War. So this film came out literally a couple of days ago. We've all seen it. Uh, my gosh, where do you start? I, I'm going to ask you both, first of all. Uh, and maybe what I'll do first, I'll quickly set the scene real mm. quickly. I don't, want to, I don't want to go on too much, but I'll quickly set the scene. And then I'll ask you what you thought of it. Uh, and just let me know exactly, yeah, give me as much information as you can. So this, this is Civil War. Uh, it's set in sort of today's world in America. And America is going through a civil war. Mm. Uh, and it seems that it seems like there's a couple of states, I think it's Texas and uh, California, California, that mm -hmm. are, kind of, are kind of working together in this civil war with other people in the country. The, the 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 president seems to be against his people. I think it mentioned in the film he's gone through a third term, which you're not supposed to do. So there meant to be two terms of presidency. So this president is now just doing crazy things that you know that you shouldn't do, killing his, killing his own people. This is the situation in the film. And then we're we're now the characters that we have: Kirsten Dunst, Wagner. I can't remember his surname. Wagner Mora, I think mm -hmm. it is. Uh, they're sort of the main characters. They're journalists, uh, photo photographic journalists, and they are now capturing the events of the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of where we land. <coughs> that's, that's where we land. So I'm going to ask you both. Uh, I'll ask you first, uh, Zakharov. What did you think of this film, man? I mean, what can you say? There we have it, speechless. <laughs> I have mixed oh feelings. Mixed I feelings. have mixed what feelings. Are those mixed the feelings, thing is, man? like, I was expecting a lot more, okay, in a way, but I got something different. Ah. And I knew that it wasn't like for. Let's start with the trailer. The trailer mm. was very misleading, mm -hmm. in a way. It felt like this is a new Liam Neeson action flick, <laughs> Gerald Butler, whatever thing. Yeah. But I know, you know, Alex Garland. Mm -hmm. I know his movies. I'm a fan of his work. So I was expecting something different. I don't know. But I knew it wouldn't be an action movie. That yeah. I knew. Yeah. But just, I don't know how it went. And, and the whole, the road trip was nice. I loved Kirsten Dunst. Her character was amazing. Good yeah. role. I also loved, um, what's his name again? Wagner Mora. Wagner, yeah. Uh, or uh, what, uh, uh, Picasso. What's his name? Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Narcos. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing, one thing that annoyed me about the movie is the character of the kid. Okay. okay. She ruined it. Oh, really? She ruined okay. it for me. For one thing, she's supposed to be 23. She looked like 12. Yeah, she looks younger. Yeah, I think did she oh, lie well, she's supposed to be 20, 23. That's what she said, 23. but I think, she, I think she was lying. Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. Maybe she was she lying. Was lying. Mm. That, that could be possible, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, there's also a scene in the trailer. I don't know if you've seen it, but right um, before the title card comes, you have a mm. scene of a helicopter flying. Mm. Uh, like it's, Over the it's war night, zone, was it? yeah, in a war zone, like like a Washington D.C., mm. and you see all these lights of fire and stuff like that. But you hear this very like eerie sound, like, 
mm. which kind of made you think like there's something else going on than oh. just a civil war, you know, like okay, maybe a monster okay. or something oh, like that. Okay, 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 okay. So I was like, okay, I kind of hope it it's going that direction. Yeah. But it's fine if it isn't. But at the same time, I'm like, watching his previous films, this film feels too simple in a way. It's not like he usually doesn't do this. Mm. Especially like I read that he is retiring mm. from movie making. Mm. Mm. He just wants to write. Mm. And I'm like, okay, is this your last film? Okay. I, di I didn't hate it, but I, I don't know. I expected mm. something different. Mm. The different that you expected was it something a bit less like the scale? Did 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 he, did, did he want something a bit more intimate? Is that what you wanted, or something? Maybe in not a so way, yeah. commercial. Not so commercial, yeah. Because I read an article that people say like it's kind of in between an art house film and like a big budget movie, mm -hmm. and it sometimes is difficult to mix up the two. Mm. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I kind of agree with it. Okay. Also with A24, they produced it. And I re also read that they want to go more commercial and big scale. Ah. And I guess this is the first start ah, of their okay, okay, project. Okay. okay. Mm, sad to hear that. Yeah, me I too. Mean, I think, me too. I think it did. I think I'd agree with you on the, um, on the expectations. Because mm -hmm. when I saw the trailer, it felt to me like a, a purge kind of movie it yeah. had that kind of feel yeah. of it being a purge movie like there's something happening in, in america and they're having to basically like do like in the purge where it's you know every every everyone for themselves um but then what i actually got was a a movie that didn't really explain what exactly was going on or mm -hmm. gave me context as to how it got to where it started like where you know wh how the movie opened up it didn't give any context throughout the movie as to any of the details of how the civil war came about it just basically gave you this is the president every, it's a civil wars going on and everyone's trying to basically there's this movement um between like the states and the people within these states mm. uh feud in between each other and um they need to basically get rid of the the, the president somehow mm. and it's basically like it gave me this this journey with the three main characters that we saw i mean i liked the seeing um the old boy from uh june he was a uh, he was uh, one of the journal the journalists, yeah. but he 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 kind of like gave that old school journalistic you know feel and attitude versus Kirsten Dunst um, and um, and the the partner, and then you've got this girl who's who's like has an admiration for Kirsten Kirsten Dunst's character mm. and wants to basically fill her shoes in doing the same job but I, but i didn't know that she was like i think maybe you, you might be right that she lied about her age mm -hmm. because she did look a lot younger than um than 22 yeah and but the journey the journey the film was more about the people mm -hmm. than it felt about the, everything else that was going ar happening yeah. around it mm. and um what was the uh the guy uh I've forgotten his name he's a really good actor and i do like him when he oh, appears in these Nick films Copperman, the president no the, no, the guy I who know said what, what type of means. american yeah. are you yeah oh no oh, oh, oh. Jesse. 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 yes oh, yeah that's, that's yeah. elizabeth not elizabeth that's kirsten dunce's husband in yeah. life. <laughs> right yeah so yeah. his his character like <laughs> i if i felt that scene because i was just like the, the the guy who <laughs> Hong Kong like the other two guys mm. like imagine I could just imagine myself being in that situation there's all this chaos right <laughs> and then you've got that moment in the film where there's this they you know they're obviously press and their 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 weapon is the camera mm. versus mm. the people that they're following who have guns 
Mm. So when they when they take when they're shooting, they're taking pictures, mm. and then coming across that uh, Jesse Plemons' character, and then he's holding a rifle. You don't know what the hell he's he's thinking. All you know is that he's asked the question, "What type of American are you?" I'm just like, I don't know what I don't know how to answer mm. this question. Like, I'm American. And that's all I can answer. But mm. when he when he sh- shot the first guy. You're like, fuck. No <laughs> this, like, how do I get at myself out of this? No and then, it, yeah, and so I really liked the um, the old guy who was like, nah, this feels wrong. This feels mm-hmm. all wrong. Like, it's dangerous. We, like, everything in my um, in my body is telling me this is not something that we need to get out of this vehicle for. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got, and then you've got um, the when they venture into the other uh, part of the state where. It was like, did we go back in time or something? Everyone is acting as though that there's no civil mm-hmm. war. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like it was it was more a film about the people and how yeah. like, you know, like the there's the horrors and um between the character there's horrors happening and then the characters Kirsten Dunst is like this hardened photographer at versus the young girl who is still connected with the humanity part of it so like she wants to be in Kirsten Dunst's position Mm. but Kirsten Dunst is like the end product versus this girl who that's going to be her in the future if she yeah Mm -hmm. and it was the way the end the way the end um happened and it was almost felt to me like she had basically passed the threshold Mm. where now the humanity side of it is like she's she just automatically like turns into a machine like you have to basically yeah. you see someone get shot it, you kind of like have to ignore it and then k- just keep to the job which is taking the pictures and yeah. the, that that last scene was almost to me like that was her crossing that yeah. that threshold and uh yeah so it was it wasn't what i had expected what I had imagined to mm. receive from having seen the trailer, yeah. so I'd agree with um, uh, with the comment about it. It was deceiving, yeah. But I think it was. I th- I felt it was a good movie. Yeah. Um, with you know, Civil War. What, Similar, what was yours? I think I I agree as well in, in that. When I first saw the trailer, I didn't know what to expect, and I actually sometimes I like that with films. Mm. Uh, but I think. I actually think it was a really, really good film. And I feel like the film was almost like a feature length short film, if I can say that. Because sometimes you know you watch short films on YouTube or wherever mm. and you get a snippet. You either get a bit of the whole story. Yeah. You don't know what happened before. You won't mm. find out what's gonna happen after. You just get a bit. That's a yeah. short film. And yeah. this felt like a long short film. <laughs> we didn't we weren't told why the civil war happened. Yeah. We don't know what's happening after the president Sorry, I don't want to spoil anything. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen <laughs> after the film. Yeah. Uh, and lots of things weren't explained. But do you mm. know what? Because these days with Hollywood, you get spoon-fed so many things. Everything mm-hmm. just gets gets explained to you. I did feel that it was a really good, refreshing change. Yeah. Alex Garland said that he wanted it to be that way. He didn't want to tell everyone everything mm-hmm. in an interview. He said that that was what he wanted. And he said that some of the characters, they were the way they were because... Their reflections of different people and how they would, rev- how they would respond to something like this. Yeah. Like you saw the young girl. She started off like you said. She was very like emotive. Like she, she saw something. She would cry. It was like mm. ah kind of thing. And soon enough, all her emotions were sucked out. Yeah. She was mm. able to just do the job like Kirsten Dunst, who I think she was, her emotion, her humanity was totally sucked out. Yeah. So by don't want to spoil it, but. There was a time in, in which she was she was numb, like she didn't even know what to do anymore. It was mm. just it was just she I don't know she it was, I don't know it, she was she was a wreck. Yeah. And then you had mm. Wagner Mora who said he's get, he's getting an erection because of all this shooting. <laughs> <laughs> My man is he's getting he's getting horny from all this shooting. So th- there's so many things with that. I think Alex, <laughs> Alex Garland said he wanted to show how human he is. And also mm. just how sick humanity is. Look how they were killing each other. Yeah. Look how they were doing it. You know, like, 
there's an image of someone getting a tire on them and burnt. Some people think, oh, that's yeah. crazy in the film. Yeah. That shit happens in real life. Yeah. That, that happened. That, today, that's happening to someone. You know what I mean? But Yeah, yeah. but I think, sh- I think that was also put in there to because it's a strong image wh- which ties in with the photography yeah. part of it. Yeah, mm. but it happened, Emmanuel. Mm. Like, literally in 2024, it's happened. It's happening. People mm. do that to other humans. And it just goes to show the depravity and the sickness and the, the I can't even think of the words, but just how low humans can get to when we follow each other. Like, back in the day with the Nazis and stuff, they said, oh, I'm just following orders. I'm yeah. following orders. It shows how sh- sheep humans can be. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's crazy, man. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I don't know the time's ticking, but I, this, this film, I think, I would like to see it again, actually. I was really surprised by how interesting. It didn't give me everything. I still got questions, and I like that. And, yeah, I'm just, I hope that this never happens in real life. That's what mm-hmm. I can say. <laughs> it was interesting as well, seeing the two stars on the American flag. I didn't understand at first mm. what was going on. I had, to, I had to do research afterwards, mm. you know, but I, I understand more now because I've seen stuff, but just interesting you know but so i i also think with with all his films like yeah. you have to watch it again yeah 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 i yeah. mean he has only four movies but yeah. they all have like things you know that you that you don't see at first and then yeah. oh yeah okay so that yeah. makes sense now exactly as well with this one i think like if you mold it a bit mm-hmm. it really is about journalism and mm-hmm. war photographers mm-hmm. you know yeah. and i think that is in front and all the other thing that the whole civil war is like background like what you said it's more about their journey instead of what the trailer is selling (laughs) (laughs) he actually said in an interview as well that when he was younger i think he said his dad was a journalist or something or something like that but when he was younger he used to hear stories of people that had come back from vietnam right and he said that those people were a wreck in their Never head. The yeah. Things again, that yeah. they saw were a wreck. And he said that he wanted to capture some of that old school vibe in the young girl. And that's why she used the old camera. Mm-hmm. Right. He said that he wanted to give her like an like a bit of a you know old school feel in a young person because she had the old camera and that's how she worked and stuff. And he just there's all these all these little things that he put into the film on purpose to give it that character and to give it a bit more, you know, spice so I, I do appreciate it but yeah he's a good he's a good filmmaker for Definitely, sure yeah yeah, yeah 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 but i don't think you know you mentioned that he's going to be retiring from directing i still think we're he, we're not going to lose too too much because i think a lot of his writing no. is so good yeah the director gets an easier job i mean he yeah. he, he he wrote judge dread not judge dread dread mm-hmm. yeah. you know the 2012 version he wrote yeah. that you know what i mean and that's a that's a, one of the best dread films judge dread films that's a really good film you know, so there's certain <laughs> things that he's done. He's written novels and one of the best. <laughs> there are there's only two. There's like, you know, had, the, had the, 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 the Sylvester Stallone one. Yeah. yeah. One, yeah. I am the law. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he got, he got the, the dread one with uh, Carl Urban. Doesn't yeah. really tell me off. No. That's how dread is supposed to be. Exactly. You know, so. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I I recommend Civil War. I don't know. I think yeah, I recommend it. Go see it. if you haven't seen. What would Civil you give War, it out of five stars then? I, I, Oh, you like you like a five star system. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like I'm like I'm a, a, a ten, ten, ten. Uh, what zero? No, one to ten. So I give it I yeah. give it like a seven, I think. Uh, if it's one to ten, I I actually give it an eight point five. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you seen it in IMAX? No, but I would okay. like to. I saw it in a, a good screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, somewhere I even took and She didn't fall asleep. That's a sign of a good film. She enjoyed it too. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the yeah. So that's Civil War. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. Please go watch it. It's a really interesting film. We didn't spoil it too much for you on purpose no. because we want you to enjoy the film, fresh, just like us. Fresh. All right, cool. So we're gonna do the next film. Uh, next film we're gonna do is the First Omen. <laughs> <laughs> First omen. So, again, <laughs> I'll quickly just oh, I time forgot, now. Yeah. I'll just quickly set the scene on this one, <laughs> then we can talk about this one. So, first omen is set before the events of the first omen. That looks yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, the omen. It's 1976. This film is set before that. 
So this hmm. is their first omen in the timeline. And uh, this tells a story of a a nun who's gone to uh, Italy mm. and uh, t- played by Nell Tiger. What's her name? Nell Tiger Free. What a name. Yeah. <laughs> Nell Tiger Free. Uh, <laughs> and she goes to Italy to to do the ceremony where she becomes a nun. I can't remember what that's called. Uh, and within that, we find out that she's had a past. She's gone through some stuff. Yeah, they and all they have. Don't... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the place where she is, where all the nuns are and stuff, and there's other young girls, it's orphanage or something like that. There's other young girls that are there. And there's a girl there who's gone through some stuff and people kind of put her to the side because she's a bit dangerous or something like that. Uh, and she kind of takes a liking to her. And throughout the film, things happen. You know, this is the omen. <laughs> so you kind of know spooky shit is going to happen. So that's kind of really quickly just setting the scene of why the film is happening and where it's happening in Italy, you know, Vatican, all that, near all that kind of environment. So that's what it is. So I'm going to ask you again, what did you think of the first omen? <laughs> <laughs> I took my time to, to to watch this, man. Yeah. I just okay, don't. You go, I just, first. you go first, Emmanuel. Go I just don't. I just don't. Well, I mean, I, the the omen. The original one was good, but man, when it comes to stuff like this, I just, I really, I, I just don't sit. It doesn't sit comfortably with me to watch, watch this because it's the omen, and then you're talking about six six six. It's on the poster. Oh, it's everything okay, like, okay. it's like feeling like some juju is gonna come and <laughs> come on oh, you okay. and watch you, it. You feel unsettled. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, way, don't you, why don't you watch it with a Bible then? <laughs> <laughs> I have like five Bibles in my house and a Quran. You know, you got, you're covered, mate. You're covered. Just in case. <laughs> I'm only covered. missing the Torah. <laughs> no, but I get what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of the film? Did it? Did you like it? Was there anything that you know? It was. It was. It was okay. But the first, the first, mm, first parts of it kind of like mm. felt a little bit like a. I don't know. My mind went into like a bad joke. It was like there's uh-huh. the 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 priest is always an Irish guy, right? Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, and then, and then, oh, and then, oh, oh Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the nun was American, wasn't she? And then, the, and then we got an Italian. So it's like, yeah, it was, somehow it came to my mind. It was like, oh, this could be a joke in English, in English, Irish, and a, you know. But um, it was, yeah, it was. Um, I don't really, I didn't, I just didn't really feel comfortable watching the whole all the way through. I mean, I. <laughs> It's it to me. It is like it is like what what um, Zach Roth said. It it felt unsettling. I should have been watching it with a bias. Did you like it? Though? Did you like it or not? I still I still can't tell. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think it's I liked scary. it. He doesn't like it. I don't, like it. I don't think I liked on. it. You said it was unsettling, but I, I, sometimes that could mean a good thing. That means that the whole is working. But yeah, I like the film as well. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, you know, <laughs> there was there was t- several images where the woman reminded me of the poster smile, and I was oh, just like, oh, "Okay, yeah, okay." Yeah, yeah, when okay. you're smiling like that, mm. there was it was happening too many times. Like the mm-hmm. first okay. opening when the there's the um the the glass that's being put in um in the building oh yeah and it yeah. falls yeah and then the guy's like are you okay father and then he's like yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but but it was it, it was scary because there was the scenes where you saw the birthing mm. and i was just like no mm. i can't watch i can't watch mm. that <laughs> what, what did you think Zach Roth? what did you think well i'm um, kind of the opposite but okay. the thing is, like, um, I love uh, films about, you know, exorcism, Satan, mm. that's kind of non-stories. But I've seen so many, and they're basically almost the same. It's always the same premise. Mm. It's almost predictable, you know? The friend they meet outside, 
is part of the coven, stuff like that. Um, personally, I'm not uh, a fan of The Omen, the whole franchise. I was more the other side, Exorcist. Okay. Um, so I wasn't really like, oh, I need to see this movie, but it's more like because we were going to talk about it, I went. Mm. Yeah. But again, it feels like an unnecessary prequel, remake, okay. remake <laughs> yeah. whatever you want to yeah. call it. It's a prequel nobody asked for, but I guess Disney needs money and they want to mm. put, you know, they want to keep the franchises alive. Yeah, yeah. Because they have all the rights. So I think that's why it came. But nobody was expecting this. Mm. I mean, even like The Last Exorcist, you know, it wasn't a big success. So nobody was thinking, okay, let's make The Omen then. Mm. But they still oh, did it. The last, the, 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 the last believer, I mean. Oh, that was rubbish. Oh, exactly. Man, I like that. Yeah. Exactly, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I was like, no, mm. thank you, but no. I think also like you said, it's just to be able to use it, really. To keep yeah, it, to keep, keep it, alive. you know, to keep yeah. the rights alive. But it's just the same story, same story over and over and over mm. again. Like, if you want to see a better version, go watch Immaculate. Mm, okay, okay. Have you, you, you've seen Immaculate? I've yeah? seen it. Okay. I've seen it, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I'll quickly mention what, uh, what I'll <laughs> say, then, then we'll, we'll talk about Immaculate. I think uh, we should, <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> For me, I think I'm I'm I think I'm the opposite. As in, I really I actually like this film. You know, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I did. I t I'll tell you why I liked it. I liked it because, first of all, Nell Tiger Free. I think she's a good actress. I've seen her in Servant, in uh, M Night Shyamalan yeah. on Ab Apple. Yeah, and she plays a similar character there. Actually, very <laughs> sort of timid looking girl, kind of spooky kind of you know so she's i didn't realize also she was in game of thrones she was he was Mar one of the kids yeah, yeah marcella lannister uh yeah i didn't realize mm -hmm. but uh but yeah i i did appreciate the fact this film <coughs> was quite patient it wasn't a lot of jump scares the horror was psychological and real as in the trying to get her pregnant a bit like mm -hmm. rosemary's baby and stuff like that it was kind of shit that i can see happening in the world you know it's mad but uh, yeah the idea it was yeah, crazy <laughs> yeah, the idea of what they're the going to do well, yeah bringing back the antichrist because the world has gone to shit and the people this aren't believing in jesus yeah that for me was a bit like, <laughs> insane it was, it was kind of i'll oh, say so you're going to bring this this person that you know is evil to try and scare people into now coming to to to, to the church and what are you going to do with this guy now? He's going to be free. Like, you know, just, oh, you can stop now being evil. You can go back. You've got the people in the church now. Thank you. No, you know. But apart from that, no, I did appreciate the film. I appreciated a lot of the cinematography and the sound. That for me was one of the scariest things. The sound was quite scary. The music was quite similar to the original Omen. Uh, and I did like, I'm not going to speak about it just real quickly, but I did really, really... I know this is probably going to be hot and cold, but I really liked the moment where she started to become almost possessed. I'd like never outside, you mean? Yeah, I'd never seen. For you me, know what was, she was doing, right? What she was doing the dance. No, she was having sex. <laughs> it was. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was having sex. That's why she was like that. When she was outside the car. Yeah. You see? <laughs> oh my God. you know what it was but it was with the demon isn't it yeah <laughs> Which is, but you know what the way it looks yeah I can just imagine being, and everything. yeah being on set and saying like yeah. you've got to do this action still yeah. to pull that off it just looked crazy like i was like what? i was the cinema was quiet <laughs> it was just mad you've well, never seen anything like people it people were laughing over here but is yeah. it yeah <laughs> But I'm in the wrong place, so... Oh, uh, okay. Now it's coming. <laughs> I, I, I actually think, like, whether the people like the film or not, I really like the actress. And I think she mm. can do a lot of... I think she rem reminds me a little bit, like, of the... Not the same, but, you know, like, the sort of Mia Goth crowd mm -hmm. of those actresses that... I know what you mean, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They just... Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they kind of can do a lot of weird stuff, and I kind of liked her, but they I did, just I did appreciate... Time and yeah, yeah, she's quite young. I think she's, like, mm -hmm. 24, something like that. Uh, I really appreciated the film. I kind of liked it. I'm not going to lie. I think for me, it was horror, but it was kind of trying to be old school horror and not yeah. be the, the new school mm -hmm. silly horror. I think, the, I think the pacing of it felt like the like the original. Yeah. The way it was kind of, yeah. yeah. 
but uh, I think the the end I think was a bit. Uh, yeah, uh, one one mild spoiler, I guess. Mm. Like the creature. Yeah, I didn't need to see it. Sorry, but it looked uh, like a rata. Yeah. <laughs> it it like was a rat. A big it rat. It was a rat you face. You didn't need to see it. Sometimes the 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 the, the, the horror. The imagination is. Yeah, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You didn't need to see it. That took that took away, yeah. So yeah, nah, I mean, I was... yeah. Overall, <laughs> I, I would still say it's worth worth a watch. I would still say it's worth a watch. Wait till yeah. it's out on Disney Plus, people. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I Halloween. Know. Halloween is coming again, so Earlier, you have something to watch. It will come out in June, probably. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. <in> July. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the that was the first omen. And uh, funny enough, and actually, the last. And like, <laughs> it probably won't be the last. No, it won't. no I don't but, think um, so. I watched the original Omen right after this, and then I watched Omen Two. So I've seen it now in, in the I got this, the Order. third, the third Omen to watch now. Still, okay. There yeah, are five, so. right? Is it? Oh yeah, there's a, there's a fourth one, and then there's a 2006 one, I think. Yeah, a remake, and there's also yeah. a TV show about. Oh, a TV show. I've yeah, seen... when he's like oh. an adult, it's called. Oh no, I haven't seen that. Then. No, I haven't seen, seen that one. That. No, no. I always wonder, like some some people name their kids Damien. I'm yeah. Like, Ooh, have you not yeah, seen that? Yeah, I kind you know, of. I just, <laughs> just, just because of that, I just, I'm not your friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but even, yeah. if, even if you you put the film aside, like I feel like the name, like also in 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 some pictures, <laughs> you're, you're you know, looking by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just Damien, you know, it's it's. I don't think it's a good name. No, no. Also, no. in Greek, in Greek, you have Demos. Is it, that's, that means demon, isn't it? It's like, nah. It's a very, it's 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 a very common Greek name, nah, Demos. Nah, 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 so, nah, nah, nah. Demos. <laughs> keep my candle with me. Uh, 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 uh. And that's one of the one of the moons of of Mars is Demos, isn't it, or Demos? I that I don't know. Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're moving on, but it's not going to be any better. So we're, we're talking about now. Let's, let's quickly talk about a hidden gem. Mm. Uh, we have to talk about this hidden gem because it kind of links to the first omen. And yeah. this hidden gem is called Immaculate. Immaculate. I know, Zakov, you said you've seen it. Uh, I think you should, you know. Tell no, us I'm not going to say anything. No? No, okay. I just <laughs> I'm just gonna say just watch that one instead of the omen. Is it? Uh, yeah. Is that, yeah. And 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 <laughs> I think I think uh, Sydney Sweeney her performance is wicked. Wicked. She wicked. produced the film. Is it? Yeah. And it it's kind of funny that they both came in the sa- mm. at the same time. You know, you have the first omen and you have immaculate. That's mm-hmm. all I'm gonna say. Watch it. It's a hit. Right, yeah. the same spot, yeah. Have you yeah. seen Immaculate yet, Emmanuel? I haven't seen it, no. But he's not gonna watch that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's clear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Immaculate. So I'll, I'll quickly just mention. It. I know we were kind of yeah. one at a time, but I think, um, I think Zakov is right. Immaculate. It's actually a film that many people are not talking about. You know, no. in the cinema, there were not many listings of Immaculate. I had to really, I had to find a listing where i can you know watch it it wasn't easy right but uh, immaculate sydney sweeney sydney sweeney who we've seen in euphoria we've yeah. seen her in a whole bunch of other stuff she's one of the, one of those actresses that are really up and coming she's quite young as well uh this film is an hour and a half it's very very similar premise mm-hmm. as the first omen the nun from america goes to italy Mm-hmm. to take her vows and become, you know, a, a, a qualified nun, if I can say that. Uh, she's had a past. There's not really a matter. No, she's had yeah, history, nothing too mm-hmm. crazy, I don't think. And she's she's going there and she has to navigate that whole environment. Uh, among, similar to the first omen, other nuns and people that you're thinking, like, what are you doing? Like, you see <laughs> Yeah, they seem a bit shady. Yeah, yeah they seem a bit shady. We've got the man from La Casa de Papel. Uh, uh, money yeah, heist. yeah, yeah. The professor. Yeah, the professor. Professor yep, from Money yep, Heist. Yep, He's yep. in it. Uh, very shady character in this one. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so this this one has a similar premise. I'm not going to spoil it too much because I think you should watch it with a clean, clean mind. But they want to do something to Sydney Sweeney. The, the, the people <laughs> in the 
the, the, the Vatican nun, or something. The, I don't yeah, know. The, they, um, <laughs> they want to do something to her uh, because they have a reason. They want to. They want to do something to her. That's all I can say. Something very not talking not about right. Devil's Three somehow. Huh? Something. <laughs> something <laughs> not right. And the term immaculate is very, you know, it, it, it very it links in with the film. She comes immaculate. She mm. comes with a clean body, if I can say that. And they want to use that to do something to her. That's very ungodly, in my opinion. <laughs> and you know, she has to now deal with that. Mm. I think that I'm being careful not to spoil it too much because I did I, I didn't know anything about this film and that helped me enjoy mm. it more. Mm. Right. And I'm stopping myself from saying something that happens in the film that I'm very shocked with. Yeah. And I loved. You know what I'm talking about. I and think this, so. This is not all I'll say is it's not at the start of the film. Mm-hmm. Stop, like there's <laughs> things a, a thing that you never see in a film. Yeah. And I was like. Whoa, did that did that happen? I still don't know. <laughs> I still don't know if it happened or not. All I can say is like Glasgow said, if you're gonna go and see a film in a cinema mm. right now, go and see Immaculate. People are not talking about it. No. The re- the reviews I think have it's been so good pretty. from what I've seen. Yeah. Performances the are moment. there, you know. The yeah. look of the film is great yeah. as well. It's it's uh, also very graphic at times. Oh my god. It's different than the omen is. Mm. Oh, wow. Which was like, oh shit, yeah. But it's good, you know. Yeah, you yeah. need to see it. Yeah. You need to nah, see it. nah, yeah. I don't need to see it. <laughs> 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 I could, thing, I could have my Bible, about. my rosary, my, my, my holy water. Probably Just bring have, everything. Have to, have to Florida water, well. everything. Florida <laughs> 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 water. Hey, I have one here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? You wanted to say saying, something. All the films that we've spoken about, I don't think the budgets have been crazy, which no. is quite refreshing. Like even mm. Civil War budget fifty million dollars, which is yeah A twenty four's biggest budget. But it felt it felt budget. it felt bigger than fifty million. It did. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The skill was creativity. Great. Also the cameras, yeah, everything. Yeah. You know exactly. First number was not a big budget. Immaculate, not a big budget. But I think. I think the way forward, and that's why I was sad to hear you say, Zakharov, that A24 now is yeah. more commercial. That is really sad news, man, because I think by having that minimized budget, it makes the creativity, like, you know, you have to be more creative yeah. to do something. Have a hunger for it. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. always have special effects going, push, push, push. No. And you can no. be more intimate, and I think that's... They're, they're such a unique production company, you know, yeah. from the start. It's always with A24, it's always you either like it or you don't like it. It's not always like a middle way with their mm. movies. So I, I hope they don't go there. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> yeah. hopefully. But I think they will. They started with Civil War. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to be possible if they want to expand and grow. Mm. So. Yeah, and also with all these, uh, you know, their movies are winning prizes lately. Yeah, Oscars. So yeah, they, yeah. Right. So they yeah. see like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Probably the CEO changed. Mm. <laughs> Always a bad sign, huh? Well, we can start one. The Flixters <laughs> company. <laughs> we call it A twenty five. A teacher's production. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? That's soon. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it, you know. I think that's... Uh, so we've done main movie. So like I said, go see Civil War. Go see First Omen. Definitely go and see Immaculate. All the films we've spoken about today, all good films in their own way. Yeah. You, you see it. You let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, just, you know, keep... Uh, keep tuned into the flicksters so i'm not sure what's out next week i don't know i haven't looked ahead uh but i'm sure something will be out that we'll talk about <laughs> is that abigail abigail is oh, out yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Seen, yes there's dracula's <laughs> dark daughter right whose daughter dracula oh yes 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 i yes. think <laughs> the no, I, actually, actually i don't think i read it somewhere but i'm not <laughs> like if this is true I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And also, Back to Black, the Amy Winehouse yes, film. Oh, oh yeah, I've I seen that one. Do you want to see? You've seen it? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's already uh, out. Yeah. Free screener. No. Oh, okay. oh, look at you. Huh? Was look it good? You. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. And then we've got Mad Max coming out soon. 
Uh, what else coming out soon? Du -du -du -du. A few things. So yeah, so we've got a few things to look forward to, I think. We've got a few things to look forward to. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. So next time, uh, teacher will be back as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ready to teach us some more. But yeah, thanks teacher. guys. It's been a really good show. Like, yeah. I thought it was going to be a good show. I said 50 minutes. That was never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that was never going to happen. <laughs> too much to talk about but yeah it's really been, yeah. been really good seeing you and talking about movies as usual Dakarov thank you thank you for having me you're welcome yeah. anytime Emmanuel thank you as Emmanuel usual. <laughs> as usual. thanks so yeah see you next time always a pleasure <laughs>